I've found in my experience that many of the executives uh, coming out of corporations uh, want to go uh, into an entrepreneurial venture. As a matter of fact, it's been probably one of the biggest trends that I've seen over the past uh, five years, particularly as the recession came on. How they should be thinking about it is, first of all, assessing uh, do they have the capabilities for entrepreneurial activities and, and going into an entrepreneurial uh, environment. It's very different than a corporate environment. And some executives are, uh, are well suited to it and others are not. There's a whole spectrum of entrepreneurship. There's from the individual that goes out and starts a little retail store to an executive that gets together with a private equity firm and buys a multi-billion dollar company. Those are all examples of uh, you know, entrepreneurial uh, pursuits, but they're clearly uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. There's a whole range of opportunities in between that. And it's really uh, getting to understand where are you best suited mm. to pursue an entrepreneurial uh, activity um, and where on that spectrum uh, you should be. Without a doubt, I think you, you have to be thinking about um, you know, what your next activity is going to be. I mean, whether it is something entrepreneurial, whether it's another uh, corporate uh, role, whether it's uh, you want to do something very different. Uh, maybe uh, I've had clients that have said, you know, had a great corporate run, but I'm done with corporations. <laughs> and I want to do something either um, you know, uh, maybe go on boards, of directors, uh, consulting, um, you know, maybe uh, doing something that with uh, private equity firms, um, uh, maybe the nonprofit world is something that's very gratifying to some people. But again, it's understanding what you want going forward that's really the most important thing and what's going to drive your passion uh, going forward because we feel strongly that once you go after and do something that you really enjoy doing, you're going to be successful at it, particularly at the you know at this level of uh, you know the corporate world. Uh, it varies depending on the individual, but you you want to understand um, and have feedback you know in terms of an assessment to understand what what do you what do you do well and what don't you do so well. And then um, to have a plan put together, a strategy and a marketing plan about how you, uh, what is the strategy overall that you're going uh, to look at in your search, and then you know how do you tactically implement it? What are you going to do to make it happen specifically? I would uh, humbly propose that uh, one of their first uh, lunches should be with me because. I'm going to give them uh, the, uh, the guidance that they need to really be thinking about, okay, what's, uh, what's next in this journey of mine? And what are some of the issues that uh, I need to be thinking of as I'm going into this, uh, this next chapter of my life? You know, a labor lawyer, uh, to understand what is in your executive contract. If you're coming out of a corporation, um, you know, most executives will have uh, a, a very extensive contract and that was signed many years before in some cases. They often don't uh, even remember what was in there. So uh, get a hold of a labor lawyer, find out what's in that contract, what are some of the, the, the rights that you have as an executive, and what are some of the obligations that the company has to you as you exit. And then of course, the, probably the third person you want to have lunch with is uh, someone in the uh, wealth management field who can help you understand and get comfortable around what your financial position is as you enter into what can be a very protracted uh, uh, search. I recommend the uh, uh, Western uh, British Columbia uh, where you can uh, go heliskiing uh, at a number of really great uh, heliski operations out there. They put you in a helicopter fly up to the top of a pristine 12,000 foot uh, mountain and uh, with a guide you can ski down and uh, in absolute uh, untouched uh, powder snow. So that's my uh, way of having a good time.